Supper is almost here, and if you're still looking for new dishes to add to your mem your menu, you're in luck. <laughs> David Burke from Tavern 62 on the Upper East Side is here with some light but tasty options, and you're making one of my favorite <laughs> dishes, crab cakes. Yeah. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, crab, not the traditional crab cake with, with the bread twist. crumbs in the filling and the bread crumbs on the outside. Mm. So we have a filling here, the crab meat, and we use uh, a little bit of mayonnaise whipped in with some kind of melted butter. So there's, it's a little lighter. It's, it's much tastier than adding breadcrumbs and lighter. Mm -hmm. But the, the key here is the outside of the bread, instead of using breadcrumbs, we use pretzels. Oh, wow. Pretzel sticks. Those okay. are dipped in mustard oil and they're quite delicious. Oh. So, they, wait, they're, hmm. they're dipped in mustard oil. Mustard Those oil. We, use, we serve at the bar as a snack. That's how the idea came. Mm. Sitting down writing menus mm. and snacking on those. So delicious. What, oh, what wow. I do is I make a, the base here and the crab filling is put in. And what herbs do you have on that? Just chives and tarragon, uh, crab meat. Mm -hmm. And what's the best way to, to choose your crab meat? Because there are a lot of different choices. Well, you know, there's jumbo lump crab meat from Maryland, and that's the best. Yeah. And it's very expensive, but very good. Normally, restaurants blend in some of the backfin and the jumbo lump because it's just cost prohibitive. And also, uh, but the big pieces for crab cocktails, what you use when you're eating that raw, not raw, but cooked. So here's how we make the raft. Like this. And now the, the beauty of pretzels, when you fry them, they don't absorb any oil because they're coated. Oh, mm -hmm. So a dry breadcrumb, like a dry sponge, will absorb a lot of oil. And you're tying it with what here? This is a, a, a boiled or blanched chive. A lot of labor. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's why but you're, we, make, uh, <laughs> but you're making it look so easy, David. Well, you know what? I've, I've, I spent my years in the basement of kids making things now, when like you put, When you put the pretzels in the mustard oil, do you yeah. put it all over the pretzel or just on the tip? Just the tip because the okay. mustard oil is very, very strong. Right, so you just put it so, in the and tip. Here's a, here's a mayonnaise we make with, now like 25, 30 years ago when I first started cooking, maybe even more. And this is the one. fried. Ah. We use chipotle now. We would never use that in classic French cooking. Or, you know, now yeah. the spice is really in. So we use spice in quite a lot of sp uh, spots. Here's a watermelon salad with burrata, olives. And um, there's espalette in there. There's a tuna tartare, all from our spring menu, Tavern 62, as well as our takeout menu for the Jitney. The, I can't believe this is your takeout menu. That's the lobster roll and the burger. Right and, and this salad's also in a takeout, nice container, mm -hmm. easy to eat. So once you have this made, you see how, bar your tweezers. Mm -hmm. how, how long do you cook them? Just so it's cooked through, just so it's warm. Because oh. the crab meat's cooked already. Mm. So you see how nice this is? Yes. So once you're starting with crisp, you'll end up with crisp. If you start with soggy, it absorbs a lot more oil. So I usually I would drain this on a paper towel, but mm -hmm. I don't have the time right now. <laughs> this, you always season something afterwards. Okay. And here you have uh, orange jam you can put on top. That's okay. orange and tomato juice boiled down. Tomato sauce. So like or spread it? Right or? On top. Oh, okay. Like in one glop. There we go. <laughs> and these are candied kumquats. Okay. Little citrus. And that was just Smells a couple minutes good. on each side? Oh, yeah. All you do is here. I can put this one in right now. Ooh, whoops. And that'll take less than a minute. Oh, wow. But wow. the pretzels are key. And you can use okay. any type of pretzel or even grind up the pretzel. It'll absorb less oil. Think spo wet sponge, dry sponge. Dry bread absorbs all the oil. Mm -hmm. Wet bread or crisp bread already, the coating doesn't. And David, you're in the city. You're taking your talents to a new spot on Long Island. We are. Next the Garden week. City Hotel, right? right yeah. So, what are you going to be doing there? There'll be a, uh, a tavernish steakhouse there called the Red Salt Room, and then there'll be a, uh, also the bar room called the King, King Bar. So, Very it's nice. a great hotel. I'm happy to be part of that. So, uh, and some of the dishes reflect what's going on at Tavern 62 on the Upper Side, and some are just new, and uh, mm -hmm. it's a great, a great spot. So I'm happy to be uh, be part of that as well as happy to have a new chef at Tavern 62 and doing some new oh, great good. dishes. So. And you brought your bacon and you brought your your Those trademark are cheese. Those are my, uh, I keep them in my the, in the trunk of my car. We <laughs> get very excited about them. And we also have the greatest dry steaks. So you know we're happy to. Thank you so much. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Bye. -bye.